Hello and welcome back to the Fastest Car Series. Today we're at Shanghai for the Chinese Grand Prix. And for the third race in a row, it is Daniel Ricciardo who is on pole position for today's race and alongside him is Sebastian Vettel. In P3 it's Max Verstappen and Kimi Raikkonen is in P4 and in P5 it's Valtteri Bottas alongside Jensen Button in P6 and in P7 it's Nico Hulkberg in his Force India and in P8 it is Carlos Sainz in the Toro Rosso and in P9 it's Lewis Hamilton still with qualifying troubles and Felipe Massa is alongside and in P11 it is Romain Grosjean and alongside him is Sergio Perez in the Force India. In P13 is Fernando Alonso and he's got Gutierrez alongside him. And in P15 it's Rio Hanianto with his teammate Pascal Verlein alongside in P16. And in P17 it's Daniel Kvyat with Mark Ericsson alongside him. And in P19 it is Felipe Nazar with Kevin Magnussen alongside him. And in P21 is Julian Palmer with us in 22nd and last place. And it is five red lights for the Chinese Grand Prix and away we go. Looks like we've had quite a good start and we've already overtaken the two Renaults and the Sauber along there. We're already up into P17 and we're going to try and look to go up the inside of all these cars and we are now up into P10. What a great start we have had there. As we leave enough space for the car behind but we slot in behind Jensen Button who is in ninth position and we try and get a good run into this right hander and we go up the inside to try and get P9 but we have a wee bit of contact with Felipe Massa but no harm is done and we are up into P9 but cutting on to the start of lap 2 and we go into turn 1 and we're going to go up the inside of Felipe Massa and we are now into 8th position as now we cut on to later into the lap as we get a good run on Nico Hulkenberg going into the left hander we go up the inside and now we are into P7 and next up is our teammate of Lewis Hamilton and we cut on to the end of lap 4 as Hamilton and Raikkonen I think is goes into the pits as we start lap 5 and cutting on to the end of lap 5 as Bottas now goes into the pits and that puts us into P1 and now it's time for us to push as hard as we can but now it's time for us to come into the pits and as you can see on the top right Daniel Ricciardo is getting held up by some slower cars a Renault and the two Sabres I think that is as we come in to change on to another set of soft tyres and can we beat Ricciardo coming out of the pits and he is only just coming up to the last corner right now and we're almost at the end of the pit lane so can we beat the Red Bull driver I think we have beaten him and we have held P1 coming out of the pits and that is very good overcutting from us there to get in front of a lot of cars there and that is very good strategy work from us and the team to get into P1 but now we cut on to lap 10 and the start of lap 11 as we set the fastest lap of the race so far but we cut on to lap 12 and the safety car has been deployed so we could possibly use this as an opportunity to come into the pits as you can see now and we're going to go on to a set of super soft tyres as we won't lose that much time making an extra pit stop here and we are only going to lose out to our teammate Lewis Hamilton coming out of the pits and as you can see there we're now down into P2 but we're going to come out ahead of Julian Palmer in P3 and this could very much work for us to make the extra pit stop and we're going to catch up to the safety car now and we cut on to the restart in lap 16 and we're going to go up the inside of our teammate 
with our softer compound tyres than Hamilton has with our super softs and that is us now back into P1 but we're going to cut on to lap 17 now as we set the fastest lap of the race once more and that is good pace from us but now Esteban Gutierrez is out of the race so I wonder what's happened to him let's take a look and it's an engine blowout for the Haas driver not good for the Ferrari engine there in the back of that ass and that's very disappointing for the Mexican but now we're going to cut on to lap 19 and into the pits we come for a set of medium tyres which should take us to the end of the race but now we cut on to the end of the lap and as you can see on the top right our teammate Lewis Hampton has come into the pits and it looks like it's going to be very close as to who comes out of the pits in front and Lewis Hamilton goes to another set of medium tyres he comes out of the pits as we come up to the final corner who's going to come out on top is it going to be us or is it going to be our teammate Hamilton it's going to be very close as you can see he's coming out of the pits now and who's it going to be we go around the outside into turn one and we have overtaken our teammate around the outside and we have stayed ahead of Lewis Hamilton into the pits but we cut on to lap 21 as we get the DRS on Kevin Magnussen and Hamilton's also going to get some slipstream and we go up the inside but have we gone in too deep as we lock up there and Kevin Magnussen goes side by side with us and we have to yield the position for just now but we're going to get some DRS out of this final corner and we get a decent enough exit as we go into the slipstream now and we're going to pull out to the left of Kevin Magnussen to go back into P1 in this race and that is good overtaking manoeuvres from us to get back into P1 and now we cut on to lap 22 and the virtual safety car has now been deployed but there's going to be no need to come into the pits as we're just going to lose positions and we can easily go to the end on these tyres but we cut on to lap 25 and Lewis Hamilton has used DRS to get in front of us and we try and get him back into the hairpin but it's going to be side by side but our teammate yields to us there but he is going to get DRS on the main straight and he goes into the strip stream of us is he going to pull out to the left or to the right he's going to pull out to the right and we slightly move over but we break early to try and make a switch back move and we are back into P1 in this race after that decent overtaking manoeuvre but we cut on to lap 27 and into the back straight again as once again Lewis Hampton gets DRS on us as we go into his slipstream and we're going to try and go back up the inside into the hairpin but Lewis Hampton's going to hold it around the outside and he keeps P1 for just now but this time we're going to get DRS on the main straight and can we get a good exit out of the final corner yes it is quite a decent exit and we open the DRS and into the slipstream and are we going to overtake him into turn one yes we do and we are back into p1 once again and that's another good overtaking maneuver that we have done but we cut on to the last lap of the race on the back straight lewis hamilton gets drs once again and we go back into his slipstream down into the hairpin can we make an overtaking move into the hairpin we go up the inside and can we make the move stick but we stay side by side going into the final corner of the race who's going to count on top we stick it round the outside and we are stayed in p1 and we're going to win the chinese grand prix and what a result for us and a one two for the team as well and if you did enjoy this episode of the fastest car series do leave a like share the video around and if you're new to the channel subscribe for more f1 videos including this series the sergio perez career and the korean wood series so i'll see you next time for another video and goodbye